fight on I mean, NIP. Alliance do not have I mean, that answer got, until later on. You got Stampede, right? And there's not much in the way Ruby... He finds a good creep with Hole of Persuasion. You can do that. Uh, Lesh versus Quap. I I think it's a pretty even matchup. Lashrak is oh. probably going to max Lightning Storm and stun, and then oh, that find the farm he can. That Inkswell really needed to connect. McKay's oh. coming over, and with a Fierce block up, they weren't expecting the rotation to arrive. And 33 time. time and the Centaur, because he was playing against this Chen, has been also having. Um, a, he's actually surrounded. Okay, so now he's going to be fine though. <laughs> on on all four sides. Oh, uh, Chen is fast. A little though. bit of trouble. Boxy going to get back under the tower. He's going to get the kill with the double edge. Boxy does get it before death. I'll gladly take that uh, for the build up. Magic resistance is great against both Gyro and Lishrak, so I think it's a nice choice. Oh, oh there's the recall bottom. Yeah, bring in the Rubik, and this is where Chen's meant to have a purpose. And they're waiting for the right time. Pick him up, throw him back, and the chain starts going while Farda being initiated on by three in the mid lane. So will both ganks be successful? The fight. Rubik is beginning his own oh, TP, but the troll trap. Tiger trapped up the centaur, able to get the chains done. We've got a homing missile coming in, plus the call down. A quick stampede allows Tiger to disengage out of this one. Koifer jumps in with a sonic wave, killing off Jarakot. But 33's been stacking up all these cool sprays, and Koifer won't survive in the stolen sonic wave. Of course, Sucks is going to have that available through the Bristleback's physical. I think you've um, got to pull Lesh for this one if you want to go, though. Yeah, well, they're TPing oh, around gone. the corner. He's mid, maybe, Tiger, no? he's right on top of the Observer Ward. He can body block. Actually, just fissure block 33 and doesn't it connect on the stump, but that's why you've got the Ink Swell. They don't have the damage output, and they're stacking too high for the Cool Spray. So Koifa into the back lines, looking for Saksa. And he wants to keep on this one, however. Doesn't have the big Sonic Wave available. The Chen Army hanging with him for the moment. Saksa is going to go down. And the call down was waiting for some kind of retreat, but instead, NIP. They have to chase Alliance back to the tier 2 tower. The troll trap can control Mekke for just a little bit longer, but Foxy, he's got to get out of here. There's four cool spray sacks with Vada turning on the pulse nova. He's burning through Koifa as well as Boxy. Boxy's already down Mekke. He goes back in again. He's actually getting the swings out. 33, stunned up, rooted up. Tiger Echo slams him down so Mekke can stand and fight. They're going to kill off all the cores of the... Out. Without these bigger items arriving. Ooh, smoke from Alliance. They want to reveal the Blink Dagger on uh, Centaur, who's TPing in right now. Soulbind on 33 as well as Fada. Hold him in position. Mekke into the back lines. Really trying to make sure that Lashrak is gone. He's able to do so. Then turn the attention over towards with the stomp. They keep the Bristleback in position. He can't turn his back when he's stunned like that. Fissure block. Don't let him into the trees. This is his natural environment. Waiting for the totem follow-up stun. There's still more support arriving. And Zyxa is locked in position, so Boxy can bring him down. Oh, the even wasted hand of God trying to keep both him and the Lashrak. Let's see oh. how the initiation happens. Mika starts TPing away. Oh, he got cancelled. On the side, Troll Warlord. This will be problematic. BKB comes up. No longer problematic with the Whirling Axes. Fada is dying so quickly. 33 is roamed through the rear. Chen's been sold up by Quoit for the moment underneath the shrine. They've got the kill and waiting the burn of the shrine. But a buyback from Lashrak. Still looking to fight. NIP. Centaur Wall Runner. Stampede tries to disengage until the Echo Slam. Tiger comes in. Bouncing hard on NIP. Ace can be protected by the BKB, but it came in a little late. Then maybe they have the damage with a flat cannon from the high ground. They're actually losing players here, Alliance, but Koifa, he will he'll balance up the equation. Chasing around the tree lines, he's not being duped out again this time around. Insania will try and get some extra help to get Koifa out there, but the blink, it just doesn't come off cooldown in time. So at least some kind of rebuttal. Right clicks non-stop in these fights from two heroes. They're coming to find a fresh Satanic over on the troll, but they need to come fast for Alliance, because now oh, to run away, the Rod of Atos holding the center of position, but here comes your record slam again! Tiger combining with the Sonic Wave of Koifa. The track is down once more, they'll find PPD in the trees. Koifa's down with a double kill. Boxy will get another one, and they'll see if they can ca catch the last retreating hero. One little bristle back to die. Everyone staying on top of him. Give him an extra silence as well. Not that he got enough of those, but get through the Crimson Guard into the right side of him. Down for 74 seconds. Buyback is available, but Alliance. What Tiger's turning around, looking for his own fight. Quick Sentry World being planted down. Tiger able to get that Fissure off on the run, and it will actually be Fissure stolen. Turns it around, gets a stun over on quickly. Grimstroke and Sadia needs to die away from Fada. He's trapped in this BKB. Maybe he's got enough life to survive this. No, he doesn't. Mecha was right on top of him from the get go. Grimstroke will still die, and with the Stampede, Alliance look to re-engage, but 30 the Living doesn't have to commit his buyback at all. Now, Boxy gets the jump in with that Bloodthorn. Russell back's in a lot of trouble. Bottom needs to help out the call down and Ace with the Flat Cannon. Finally, we're seeing an IP doing some real good damage from up on the high ground. They'll get two kills. Mickey canceling his TP away. Like it's him it. moving. 
Observer Sentry also sees the TP onto the Triumph. Poxy's coming forward. Lotus Orb will protect him. Everything just gets sent back around again. ES control for the oh, moment. And maybe they actually have enough to kill off Tiger. 33 is on top of him, combining with Bada, but the BKBs have already been committed. It's a 1 1 trade off. But yeah, it's just a Chen. Koifa, he'll jump in with his own BKB. That's only going to be Blink stolen out. But the damage outlook, combining with the cooldown. Now it's Ace's turn from the low ground. You've got the run out from Boxy, but the damage it should be enough. It is from Ace. Koifa's already got himself a double kill on Ace's TPing away to safety. There's a long death time to move for the MKB first. I think if, if, if they took Roshan, they probably would have gone down that road. Now Meke, up to the high ground. Part of Atos, instantly BKBs off. They want to kill off 33, running oh forward. And, and we're back into the world of the live. And as, uh, they're diving in. Our tracks back inside the game, silenced up. But this is the bottom lane of Rax that Alliance will take. They can rotate up towards the top because there is no tier two tower. But NIP, if you are mounting a defense at any point, this is probably going to be that point. Smoke up How from do you Alliance. possibly defend without Bristleback? Mm. He's been the reason they've held Rod him for this long. Look for the stun. Maybe while the BKBs are down, Lotus Orb is protecting Mekke. But remember, so is the Aegis, the Immortal. He's got Immortality to do the work. A jump in the back lines. Rubik at least gets the stun into that line. But now it's Koi for the jump out with the Echo Slam. The double fish is stun. Double buyback. So Lashrak and Rubik are back into the game. But for how long, Mickey still got the Aegis, the Immortal. He burned Satanic and BKB previously, so his, his life is already looking pretty damn good. Ace, now it's his turn with the Flat Cannon. How much damage have you got, Ace? Show me the money. Show me something. Show me anything other than death. I got shown death. Uh, the NIP, they've lost top lane of Rex. They've lost game one. GG. Alliance claim it. It took 44 minutes, but it was efficient and it was quality. 44k gold lead. That's good. That's <laughs> a lot of gold. Can buy you a lot of items. <laughs> Would have been nice to have on Lashrak this game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Man. This, this game, honestly, this game.